American football is a contact sport, of course. And so unfortunately there are injuries. Some of that is unavoidable. One benefit that we have at the league is the, the huge volume of video that's captured. And so the engineers and others really get an opportunity to take a look at each major injury from as many different angles as they can to better understand exactly what's, what's happening. We have a lot of sensors. Some are measuring, for example, the speeds that the players are running. Some players are wearing sensors and mouth guards, which can, can measure the magnitude and direction of those impacts and all sorts of data points, including speeds and locations and injuries and equipment and other things. As we started taking a look at concussion in depth, we began to see trends and patterns just by watching them. And so we uh, put our heads together and put together this project that we call the Digital Athlete to do exactly what we were trying to do manually. The Digital Athlete was developed using machine learning techniques to create an exact digital replica of an NFL athlete. We also developed uh, an automated game review system using computer vision technology to automate the frame-by-frame -frame analysis of major injury events and the kinematics of collisions. This process, it's now done more accurately and nearly 83 times faster than the manual process done by a human. There are a couple of deliverables that we've seen. For example, having the, the computers understand how many times a player hits his helmet during the course of the game and try to find ways to reduce the amount of helmet com contact. Ultimately, this tool is a, is a means to driving down injury rates around concussions, hamstrings, knee injuries, whatever the case may be, and advancing technologies and equipment to help prevent those. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a neurodegenerative disease that primarily affects former contact sport athletes and others who have had exposure to repetitive head impacts. In our brain bank, we've now had over 1,000 brain donors. And to be part of the brain bank, you need to have had an exposure to repetitive head impacts. The vast majority uh, of donors have exposure from football, American football. What we've shown, uh, I, what I would say pretty definitively, is the relationship between years of, of play and, and risk of the disease. The odds of developing CTE are 10 times less if you've played fewer than four and a half years of football. Reducing the amount of hits is, is what's going to improve uh, outcomes. Over the last three years, we've seen a 25% reduction in the number of concussions uh, at the NFL compared to the three years previous. And we've seen helmets improve. We've taken a look at drills and practices and the ways that we, the athletes are trained to try to eliminate any unnecessary head impact. And then lastly, we've taken a look at any number of rules changes to eliminate certain dangerous or more risky behaviors. So it's, it's significant progress. There's a lot more to do and a lot more that technology can help us. We will evolve uh, detection systems beyond the head uh, to include a player's lower extremities. Uh, these injuries are also extremely complex and uh, efforts are underway as part of the Digital Athlete Project to better understand how these injuries are occurring. More players who are healthier longer is good for everybody. And that's what our goal is, whether it pertains to the artificial intelligence around the digital athlete or whether that's our work on the day-to-day -to, -day to better understand injuries on field and ways to prevent them. The NFL is doing some things better, but football is inherently about the hitting. And I don't think we will ever be able to entirely mitigate risk.